Hi, this is Mark from M Solar Power. I'm here with Peng Fei at the JA Solar Test Laboratory. Hey, this is Peng Fei from JA Solar. Ah, thank you. This uh, test laboratory is, amongst others, is uh, TUV certified to actually carry out tests on their behalf. And we're here at the solar hail impact test equipment with the machine here behind me. Uh, Peng Fei, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so this uh, testing facility is to simulate the, uh, the real hill impact uh, in reality. And we are applying uh, ice balls with diameter of 25 millimeter with a speed of uh, 23 meter per second to hit onto the surface of the modules. And then we will see uh, how serious of the imp impact would be. And in most of the case, the module can you know, withstand this kind of impact easily. And just to translate that, that means we've got a golf ball size uh, hailstone that's made in the fridge here behind us, impacting the module at just 100 kilometers an hour. So this is uh, the uh, hail impact test facility in GA Solar's lab. So the purpose of this equipment is to simulate the, the impact of a real hail. Uh, and this equipment will accelerate the ice ball with a diameter of 25 millimeter to a speed of 23 meter per second onto the surface module. And then we will test the performance of the module after the heating of these ice balls. And nothing, yeah. 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 On closer inspection, if we take a closer look, the hail had absolutely no impact on this panel. This far exceeds anything that will happen in nature, and actually what they normally do is fire multiple impacts at the cell to make sure that it passes uh, the required requirements.